To put out a fire, you usually put some type of retardant on it, like water, baking soda, or sand. This will reduce its heat or deprive it of fuel or oxygen. But not all fires are alike. When extinguishing them, it's important to pay attention to the types of materials that are burning, as well as where the fire is located. Because using the wrong fire retardant can make a bad situation even worse. For example, water does a great job of putting out a fire in a pile of cardboard, but if you pour water on burning liquids, it will spread the fire further. And if the fire is in or around electrical equipment, somebody could get electrocuted because water conducts electricity. To make it easier to distinguish between different types of fires and determine what substances should be used to extinguish them, fires have been divided into classes. Class A fires involve everyday solid combustibles, such as paper and wood. As we've seen, these can be extinguished with water, which cools the burning materials, as well as helps deprive them of oxygen. Class B fires involve flammable gases, liquids, and some plastics. For example, fires fueled by gasoline or propane are Class B fires. Class B fires can be put out by applying chemical foams that blanket the area and cut off the fire's oxygen supply. Class C fires involve electricity and can occur in equipment such as copiers, light fixtures, fuse boxes, electrical wiring, and receptacles. These fires are extinguished by starving them of oxygen, a process called smothering. This can be done safely with dry chemicals such as monoammonium phosphate, potassium bicarbonate, and potassium chloride, all of which are non-conductive. Class D fires are a little unusual. They occur when combustible metals such as potassium, sodium, and magnesium catch fire. You will probably never encounter a Class D fire, but if you do, don't attempt to put it out yourself. Call your local fire department immediately.